this is part two of photography tutorial about photographing the moon so if you didn't watch part one please watch it the part one is about the settings you need to photograph the moon and the tools you need to photograph the moon in this part i will show you in photoshop how to combine two pictures how to add the moon to your night scenery in photoshop so let's get started to open both images in Photoshop. The image with night scenery and the moon image we would like to place into night scenery. As you can see here there is this little dot right here which we might assume is maybe a moon but I'm not sure but it definitely doesn't make a picture. We can't even see that it's a moon. So this nice big moon might look much better there and make a good picture. So how do we place that moon into the picture? It's actually not as difficult as you might think if you never done it. What makes our job easy is that our moon is on the plain black background. That's what you get if you expose your moon properly. Just sky goes completely black. And it's always much more easier to select things in Photoshop which are on the plain background. And also shape of the moon is really nice and smooth. So the best tool for this would be tool which called magic wand tool. And you will find this tool in our tool panel right here in its fourth tool from the top. One, two, three, four. And here we have magic wand tool. If you don't see it right away, it might be hidden behind this tool which called quick selection tool so just click on the corner of this bo of this box if you don't see your magic wand tool right away and choose magic wand tool the way how magic wand tool works it selects things based on the color and tonality so for example if we click on the moon not the whole moon is selected right now see there is man marching ants all over the place because it selects by tonality in at the moment it selected the lighter part of the moon so it would be much easier in this situation just to select the background which is just plain black so the see there is a marching ants around the moon and around the frame which means we selected the background but we need a moon not a background right this is very easy solution all we have to do is to invert inverse our selection and to do so we go to select and inverse bingo the the moon is selected now also sometimes in this case you might get the little black stroke around the moon the selection might pick up a little bit of the background and to make sure we don't have that to get rid of that, we can do the the following step. But if you're placing your moon on the dark background as well, it probably won't be visible. But if you want to place your moon on the lighter sky, you might see that stroke. So to get rid of that stroke around the moon, we go to select, modify, and contract, which will contract a little bit of the edges. One pixel probably would be enough in this case. But it, it depends you need to try it depends how big your moon is and so on so let's try one pixel and also we want to feather the edges of the moon a little bit so it looks more realistic and blends more with the picture the other picture when we place moon in our scene so to feather the edges you go to select modify and feather it makes our edges a little bit softer and probably one pixel is enough of feathering. All we have to do now is to copy the moon and place it to another picture. And to copy the moon, we go to edit and copy. You can also use the shortcut, which is command C on Mac and control C on PC. So click copy, then go to another picture and then go to edit and paste which is shortcut also on the keyboard command 
V on Mac and command, uh, control V on PC. And as soon as we click it, you'll see that the moon will be pasted right here. But it's in the wrong place. So we need to move it. And to move the moon, we need to grab this first tool from the tool panel. And this tool will let us to move. Let's place it maybe here. And also, we go, when we go to our layer panel, we see we have two layers right now. This one is a background layer. When we click on the eye, we can hide it and show it. And this one is a moon layer. But it looks like our moon is a little bit too big for this picture. We need to make it smaller. And to make it smaller, we need to make sure that we are on the moon layer. And then we go to edit. And we can use free transform to make it smaller. You can also use shortcut on Mac, which is command T and shortcut on PC, which is control T and click on it. And you will get this box around the moon. And now we can drag the corners of the box and see we can transform it all directions. But if you want to hold the proportions of the moon, hold the shift key on your keyboard while dragging it now it's holding its proportions it doesn't store the moon this probably would be a good size and double click on it to save this and here we have a smaller moon also the one thing we can do with it is to change the color of the moon and to change the color of the moon we can go to our layer panel and go down right here and click on this icon which looks like a circle with half black and half white. Click on it and click on hue and saturation. And when we click on hue and saturation, we can click on colorize right here. And what happened? The whole scene became colorized, which is kind of cool. We can drag the slider and change the color, but that's not what we want. We want only moon to be colorized. So to do so, we go to this hue saturation layer in the layer panel and right click it. On the Mac, uh, so most of the mouses, they don't have right click button. That's why you can click it while holding control and it will do the same on Mac. And we need to choose create clipping mask and as soon as it creates clipping mask above the moon layer only moon will be colorized and now we can change the color of our moon right here i think this color looks pretty good and we can also play with saturation or brightness right here so that's it for today. I hope you can could follow me in Photoshop and you will make some nice pictures combining your night scenery with the moon and post some of them on my Facebook page. And see you next time. Bye bye. Have a nice moony night with a big moon.